Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to a video all about saws. But first, I need to make a cup of tea. Now in bushcraft, we tend to use tools. Our axe, our knife, and of course, our saws too, because for project and for processing firewood, we tend to find that a saw is a very efficient way of doing things. Indeed, a lot of the time, I don't carry an axe. I find a knife and a saw more than enough. The saw that I tend to use the most, well, it's, it's a folding pruning saw and it sits in my pocket and it's nice and convenient and probably you are much the same. I know the most common one I think out there is probably the little Laplander uh, and these are an outstanding bit of kit and I've used these for many many years. Another one that's gained a lot of popularity is let's see the silky various models that there are. This is one of the F-180s, their economy models, and I find this is a great, great item. Ideal for wood crafting and for smaller projects. But there are times when your little folding pruning saw just won't cut it. Perhaps you're processing larger bits of wood for the fire, or perhaps you're just looking for bits of wood for a larger project, or perhaps you've got a lot of wood to get through or you want to get through wood in a hurry. On those occasions, then you might want something a little bit bigger than your standard pruning saw. And there are lots to choose out there. Your standard buck type saws, well, there's all sorts of ones. You can get your traditional ones. You can get these ones. This is a, a Spring Creek one and the blade stored inside. And it's a round, great bit of kit, particularly, as I said, if you've got bigger bits of wood or larger amounts of wood to go through, these are ideal. Now for those of you who are regulars to the channel, you might remember a little while ago I did a review of this uh, and this was from Hooks Outdoors. Chris, who is Hooks Outdoors, sent me this over and this is his micro buck saw and it is a great little bit of kit and it is just that it's a micro buck saw as you can see it folds up really super small it's a very very simple idea and it will take one of these a much smaller saw blade so it has the advantages of your standard uh, frame saw or buck saw but it's not quite as big and it's nice and portable. One of the things I said about it was well, that this, which is your, your cross member on it, well, you could carry two and you could indeed have one that was longer for taking a longer saw blade. So it would give you that flexibility to use a short blade or a longer blade, depending on the size of your project. Now, shortly after I put the review out of uh, Chris's micro buck saw, I received an email from someone called Tibor over in Slovakia. And he said, I also make a, a, a frame saw, a buck saw, call it what you like. He said, but mine is adjustable too. Hmm. Would you be interested in trying it out? And I said, yeah, I'm always happy to see new ideas. So, a couple of weeks later, in the post, arrived Tibor's saw. Now, when the package arrived, first thing it struck me was, well, it didn't weigh very much. The actual saw only weighed in at 440 grams. And the package wasn't terribly big either. And upon opening it, well, there are a couple of saw blades, 
as you can see and these ones are housed in magnetic strips and they're also different lengths hmm, okay now the actual saw itself is here and this well I was kind of looking for another part because it came with two saw blades but it only appears to have one cross member. Now what makes this version different to the standard ones is well most of them tend to rely if you go for the, the sort of traditional one and well, I think it's a mortise and tenon joint they call it which is in your uprights there is a slot and on your horizontal there's a little chafe, uh, end that slots into that slot on this one well it's different it has these these little circles in there and that's what gives this its flexibility because all you do as well you take this piece and you lock it onto that circle and as you can see that rotates in there giving it that flexibility so all we do as well you just lock those in on either end and as you can see these adjust meaning you can add different length blades into it because of this flexible system that is put together so it is well it's very unusual and it's also very very clever So in use, well, it's super simple. All we do is we take our saw blade and we hook it into the end there. It has split rings on the end, which lock into these slots on either end. And you wind this up to get the tension on there. In use, in use, it's absolutely brilliant. It's very solid this joint system that Tebow has come up with gives it really good uh, stability torsionally and it, it's great it's super super lightweight now I'm no expert on woods but what he's done is effectively laminated birch to create like a ply and it's beautifully well made it's very very simple it's super lightweight and in use it's incredibly efficient it's all round an excellent bit of kit and what i love about it is it's completely unusual he's really thought this through and it's very few things as a an original idea people all too often just copy stuff nowadays but this is a bit of free thinking, a bit of originality and it's, I think, it's absolutely brilliant and it's, it's become a very, very firm favourite. Now, I've put a link in the description box down below for uh, Tebow's webpage, which I've had this quite a while and I've used it quite a lot and I was going to make a video early, but Tibble's been trying to get a um, web page set up and then email, etc. So I'll put a link in the description box down below. It's called the Outdoor Handsaw, and I think it's absolutely brilliant.
Now remember, if you enjoyed this video, then well, please go over and check out that link for T-Ball's website in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, then remember hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Also in that description box down below, there is uh, a link to my Etsy shop where you can buy my little green craft patches. There's also my survival necklaces over there. I did do a run of my new EDC light pouches, the, the brown ones. They sold very quickly, so much so I will get another lot made up very, very soon. There's also my new special jewel pouches, which they are currently in production and they will be out very, very soon indeed. We're also over there, we've got plenty more of our cuts kits, which have proved super popular, and there are our fire starter pouches over there too. So go over, check those out, and um, yeah, if you if you want one, buy one. Um, I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods. <laughs>